Any viral outbreak takes on the shape of a tree. And not the type of tree you would find in your backyard, but a family tree of infections stemming from the first person infected in the outbreak. And as the virus transmits from person to person, it accumulates new mutations. If we know the sequence of the viral genome in each infected individual, we can use statistical methods to piece together who infected whom. So we can essentially recover the likeliest tree of transmissions. Now, there are two main things that affect the infectiousness of a virus. It is the physiology of the virus itself, and it is the behavior of its hosts. And this tree tells us something about human behavior in a pandemic setting. Namely, if you infect a lot of people, you generate a lot of branches in the tree, whereas if you infect no one, you are essentially a leaf. Now, if we have the tree in front of us, we can identify individuals that are more infectious than others, and we can identify common characteristics between those people. And then when it comes time to vaccinate the population, we can target people that have these common characteristics. So when COVID-19 spread its roots around the world, I was recruited to be part of the COVID-19 task force in Iceland. And in Iceland, we sequenced the viral genome of every single diagnosed case. We used these data to reconstruct the maximum likelihood transmission tree of a single very large outbreak of COVID-19. We found that people who were outside of quarantine at the time of diagnosis were 89% more infectious than people who were in quarantine at the time of diagnosis. And this isn't news to us. We know that quarantine works. We've been doing it for thousands of years, but it is incredibly difficult to quantify exactly how effective quarantine is, because that requires data on the individual level, like we have in the transmission tree, rather than some summary statistic about the whole, which is what we usually have. Uh, we also found that people of working age were 47% more infectious than children and people of retirement age. And just the fact that different groups of people are not equally infectious suggests to us that we might be able to strategically uh, distribute vaccines in order to maximize the efficacy of every single dose. So we simulated different vaccination strategies on our transmission tree by uh, strategically selecting people to be immune and then pruning all the branches stemming from them. Uh, we showed that vaccinating a population uniformly at random is substantially better than vaccinating a population in order of descending age. And this is the fruit that our research ultimately bore. We presented these results to the healthcare authorities of Iceland, who changed their vaccine rollout strategy from the descending approach to a random approach in order to attain a higher level of protection sooner. And that is how randomly pruning a figurative tree can literally save your life. Thank you.